Also here for you tonight, in just two days, the future of Springboro schools will be decided. The school district will have three new board members this election. It comes as some in the community are calling for change after a summer of some controversy. Robert Lowry is digging deeper to find out what's at stake for voters in Springfield, Springboro. Well, five candidates are running for those three empty seats. In the days leading up to this election, there's been some disputes between campaign signage and how to move forward. But all parties involved say it's time to put aside distractions and focus on the kids. Let's go. There's a group in Springboro asking for a change. The current school board talks the talk, but they haven't walked the walk. It's hard to watch what is coming down the line for my kids and what is the best for them. Supporters for this three candidate ticket are saying the current school board has lost touch with the community. It comes after a summer packed with controversy for Springboro schools that wanted to add creationism to classes, a course on the U.S. Constitution, and came close to a teacher strike. The current board says things are not as bad as one campaign would have you believe. Springboro is in a great place. We're enhancing academic standards for our kids as we sit here today. And tomorrow, that's not going to change. David Petroni, whose seat is not up for grabs, says he hopes to continue moving Springboro forward with the new board members. We've reduced class sizes, we've hired more teachers, we've settled our negotiated contract where we gave teachers what equates to over seven million dollar increase in compensation. Two News also reached out to the other two candidates, David Bittner and Colton Vaughn, and received a statement from their campaign saying, we are running for the Springboro School Board to represent and promote all of the children of this school district and do not care which side of the aisle their parents may stand. Bittner Vaughn strongly encouraged the community to only vote for those candidates that are aligned with their own personal philosophy. Enough's enough. You know, the time has come that, you know, we want to restore borough pride here in our schools, and that's why we're out here as parents and community members. Also on the ballot for Springboro Schools is Issue 14, an 8.78 mil renewal levy for the school district. That's less than the current levy, which is 10.3 mil. If it passes, it will bring in about $8 million into the district. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.